are the most common of all abdominal exercises, but unfortunately are often performed incorrectly with poor results. Crunches on the Swiss ball offer several advantages over more conventional methods and machines. Using the ball facilitates full flexion and extension of your spine, thereby training your abdominals through a full range of motion. Crunches on the ball also promote balance and stability, stimulating your deeper core muscles in addition to the prominent rectus abdominis, or six-pack muscle. When done correctly, the Swiss ball crunch is super effective. I focus on precise, deliberate movement through a full range of motion when performing Swiss ball crunches, emphasizing maximum tension in my abdominals. Start at the basic level with your hands at your sides and or with your torso at an incline. Positioning yourself farther back over the ball increases the resistance because your abs must work more directly against gravity. Constantly strive to enhance your form. Improving technique often makes an exercise more challenging. If you can do 10, 20, 30, or more reps, you're probably performing crunches incorrectly. Like most muscles, abs respond best to high resistance and low repetitions without reaching muscle failure. Start with two or three sets of four to six repetitions done two to five times per week. Here's a few do's and don'ts for Swiss ball crunches. Hold your tongue on the roof of your mouth behind your front teeth, enabling your superficial neck flexors to stabilize your neck. Inhale, hold, and crunch up. Slowly exhale at or through the top, then slowly extend back down around the ball. Inhale again at the bottom and repeat. Keep your hips still and avoid rocking and or sitting up. Hold your head and neck in alignment. Move your sternum to and away from your pubic bone. Flex and crunch up then actively wrap and extend back around the ball. Strongly flex and squeeze your abdominals at the top of each repetition. Don't interlace your fingers behind your head and or pull on your head or neck. Avoid holding your breath for too long. Master the basics before moving on to more advanced variations. Stop if you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness. Always consult a physician before beginning this or any other exercise program. I'm Adam Ford. Thanks for listening and good luck. Remember to emphasize.